May the words of our mouths and the meditations of all of our hearts be acceptable to you, O God, our strength and our Redeemer. You know the spiritual uh, wade in the water? Sing it with me. Wade in the water, wade in the water, children, wade in the water. God's going to trouble the water. You know that one? Some of you do. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> My name is... Christopher Lynn Payne. I'm, uh, I get to serve as your canon to congregational vitality in the Diocese of Maryland. And uh, I'm still trying to figure out what that means, but it delights me that that role brings me here today uh, to worship with you all, to preach, to, to witness and make promises uh, beside Bennett and uh, Bennett's family. As I think about the work of of the church, and I think about the work of baptism that we're called to do, the way that it changes us, and indeed we are changed by it. As I think about these waters that we're called to wade into, I can't help but think about a recent experience that occurred for me. You know, we're just on the other side of Christmas, right? Anybody miss Christmas? Behind us now. My spouse and daughter and I had come back from visiting uh, my wife's family up in uh, New York. We were in the Hudson River Valley, got to see some beautiful terrain up there. We came back on New Year's Day with all sorts of energy and excitement for the new year. We left a day so that we could recover and re-enter our work lives and school lives. My daughter goes to school here at St. John's and we just needed some time, you know, just to be still. And in the drive home, six and a half hours, I'm riding. I made plans. I made plans for the things that I would do as soon as I hit the door. I was ready. I was ready. I walked into the house and I greeted our cats. And as I walked, I started to hear sloshing. Wait in the water. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, the supply line to our refrigerator had ruptured while we were away, and a good bit of water had flooded the house, growing some things, and then flooding down through the floor into the basement on my office. It was delightful. Let me tell you, that was not the thing that I was planning to be doing and preparing for the new year, and and yet that's where I was, wading into the waters. This was really, this was just a week ago, so uh, while the waters have now recessed, (laughs) I'm still wading into the mess. If you've ever had a flood, if you've ever had a flood, I know People, the people of Ellicott City, know something of floods. My people are here too. Um, uh, Mostly from Catonsville, but I've got dual citizenship between Baltimore County and Howard County. Some of my family lives uh, across the river. Not the Jordan River, but the great Patapsco River. So I know this place. I know the challenge uh, that those floods have brought and the way that that flooding has uh, impacted the story of our people's lives. As we wade into the waters of life, sometimes the very messy waters of life, thanks be to God it was a refrigerator supply line and not a stewage supply line, right? Uh, As we wade into the waters of life, uh, well... Sometimes, well, sometimes we, we come out a little different than when we went first entered. I was so frustrated when I was uh, encountering this, was, was in a bit of shock when I encountered 
the floodwaters in our kitchen, parts of me are still in probably a little bit of shock, but for the most part, I've made peace with it. Even found some gifts, gifts that have occurred because that, you know, when you've got insurance, and we do, uh, you get some things replaced. And some of those things probably should have been replaced anyway. So there would be some nice things that eventually come. Who knows when that will be. But when we wade into the waters of baptism, and I know uh, Bennett's getting ready for that. Bennett's family is getting ready for that. The people of St. John's, we're getting ready for that. Even those that are watching and worshiping alongside wherever you find yourself, even if you can't feel the physicality of the water, hear the rush of it, we're all wading into these waters together. We don't go into these waters alone. Jesus went into those waters, and John was in those waters even before Jesus got there. John baptizing, calling the people of God to repentance, to prepare the way. Repent and return to the Lord, to let go of what was so that we can become something new. Baptism means so much for us as followers of Jesus. It invites us into new life. It invites us, invites us to witness transformation that occurs when the Spirit comes upon us in profound ways to give us gifts. Gifts that change us. Sometimes those changes can be uncomfortable but they empower us to do the work that we are called to do as we go forth into the world to follow Christ. These gifts of ministry shape us. They make us who we are. And this is not a one and done thing. This process of becoming is something that is constantly shaping us. The promises that, that we make with Bennett today might change us still. Each time we make these promises and we gather around this font along the bank of the Jordan, we are different than when we last gathered here. Perhaps we've journeyed through loss. Perhaps, perhaps life has changed a lot. Whatever it is that brings you to the banks of the Jordan today as we pray together, we find ourselves not alone, but with many, with Jesus gathered here with us. We feel the Spirit gathering us, preparing to fall afresh on us, to renew our spirits, to lighten and empower us, to wash us clean, to refresh us. Whatever it is that you come Seeking today, Christ, meet you in new and powerful ways. May the Spirit enliven you. Do what you need to do in your life this day and in the days and weeks to come. As we continue to become the church. We continue to use the gifts that we've been given, empowered by Christ, by the Spirit to transform this broken world that, that so needs the reconciling love and justice of Jesus. Can I get an amen? Yeah.